मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स होप यू ऑल आर वेल वेलकम्स टू यू ऑल ऑन टोपर प्राइम चैनल आई सरिता टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द टाइप ऑफ हाइड्रोट्रोपिक न्यूट्रिशन दिस इज द टॉपिक ऑफ क्लास सेवेंथ चैप्टर फूड हेयर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्क्राइब द टाइप ऑफ हाइड्रोट्रोपिक न्यूट्रिशन वेरी फर्स्ट वी ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग ऑफ हाइड्रोट्रोप्स हाइड्रोट्रोप आर दोज ऑर्गेनिज्म विच आर नॉट एबल टू मेक देयर फूड देम सेल्फ एंड दे जस्ट डिपेंड ऑन अदर्स फॉर देयर फूड नीड इज नॉन एज हेट्रोट्रोप्स एंड द ऑर्गेनिज्म इन विच दिस मोड ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन इज प्रेजेंट इज नॉन एज हेट्रोट्रोपिक मोड ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल ह्यूमन बींग्स ऑल द एनिमल्स दे आर हेट्रोट्रोप so very first type of heterotrophic nutrition is saprophytic nutrition here this saprophytic nutrition we just describing inside the plant not in animal the plants which derive their food from the dead and decaying organic matter are called saprophyte or saprophytic plant or we can say saprotroph and the mode of nutrition in such plant is known as saprophytic nutrition here two picture is given on the page one is mushroom and one is bread mold this green patches on the bread mold uh, uh, this green patches on the bread is the bread mold and both are the fungi in these two fungi saprophytic nutrition is present because they derive their food need from dead and decaying organic matter actually both the saprophyte they secrete some digestive juice on the dead matter and convert that dead matter into solution and after converting them into solution then they absorb the nutrient from it the second type of heterotrophic nutrition is parasitic nutrition what is parasitic nutrition the mode of nutrition in which a plant derive their food from the bodies of some other green plant is called parasitic nutrition the green plant or animal which provide the food is called host and the organism which derive their food from the host is called parasite here two type of parasitic plant is present one is totally parasitic and one is partial parasitic plant like amarbel and some of the bacteria and fungi they are totally parasitic what is the meaning of totally parasitic they depend wholly on the host plant for their food are called totally parasitic and the plant which make a part of their food themselves by the photosynthesis process is called partial parasitic because some of the plant some of the food they make themselves and for some of the component they depend on others like for water and minerals they depend on other plant so they are the partial parasitic example of partial parasitic plant is mistletoe this is the second type of parasitic nutrition hope so this concept is clear to all the students thank you to listening me carefully insectivorous nutrition what is the meaning of insectivorous nutrition the mode of nutrition in which green plant make their own food they are able to make their food themselves but depend on insect also for nitrogenous food is called insectivorous nutrition the green plant which make their own food but depend on insect for nitrogenous food are called insectivorous plant example of insectivorous plant is peacher plant sundew bladder rot these are the plant which derive their nutrition partially from the soil and atmosphere and partially from small insect so these plant are called insectivorous plant now question is how does peacher plant derive its food from insect how they take nutrition from the insect actually the peacher plant has a long peacher like structure that is hanging from the tip of a leaf 
the apex of the leaf form a lid which can close and open the mouth of a peacher the inner surface of the peacher has directed downward when an insect enter the peacher the lid closes and insect get entrapped into the hair the insect digested by the digestive juices which is secreted by the peacher plant and in this way the peacher plant they take their nutrition hope so this is clear to all the next type of heterotrophic nutrition is symbiotic nutrition what is the meaning of symbionts when two plants they live together as a part of same plant and mutually help to each other are called symbiont and the relationship between these two organism is known as symbiosis for example lichen lichen is an example of symbiotic in lichen alga and fungus they depend on one another for their nutritional need because we know alga is a autotroph and autotroph are able to make their food themselves and fungus is a saprophyte is non green plant and not able to make their food themselves so a fungus provide water and mineral to the alga for making the food by using this water and mineral alga make their food and give this food to fungus also so here both alga and fungus they are benefited for each other they fulfill the requirement of each other so here the relationship between these two is the symbiotic relationship hope so this is clear to all the student next topic is how are nutrient replenished in the soil what is the meaning of this the meaning of this ki we all people grow crop in our field when we continuously grow the crop in our field the nutrient level is declined because every time the crop take nutrient from the soil and time to time they got decrease so how we can replenish that nutrient and minerals into the soil this is done by following methods you can see on the page also like by using manure by using fertilizers and by crop rotation method and one more method for this by growing the leguminous crop in our field so what we do when we use the manure and fertilizers in our field this manure and fertilizers they are rich in different type of nutrient and these nutrient is mixed with the soil so whenever we grow any crop in this type of field that crop yield is good because the nutrient is taken by the crop the next method is by crop rotation method what is the meaning of crop rotation when we grow dissimilar crop or different type of crop in the same field in a sequenced manner is known as crop rotation and this practice of showing a crop uh, cereal crop alternatively help to regain the soil nutrient and help to increase the crop yield in our field gram pea and moong all these are the example of leguminous crop and the root of these crop have nodules on them in these nodule one bacteria is found that is known as rhizobium bacteria the function of this bacteria is to convert the atmospheric nitrogen into soluble form and that soluble form is nitrite and nitrate because nitrite is a soluble form so that's why it is easily taken by the plant and in this way the plant fulfill the requirement of nitrogen nutrient the rhizobium can convert atmospheric nitrogen into soluble salt of nitrogen we all know the composition of nitrogen in our environment is higher 78% but then also the plant is not able to take this nitrogen because this form of nitrogen is insoluble form and this insoluble form is not absorbed by the plant 
so this bacteria rhizobium firstly convert this insoluble form of nitrogen into soluble form and that soluble form is nitrite and nitrate and this soluble form is easily taken by the root of a plant so in this way the plant fulfill their need of nitrogen and this nitrogen the plant use for making the protein thank you hope so this concept or this chapter is clear to all the student we meet into the next chapter further